Skeletons, it's Disney Queen Skelly here. Welcome back to another Getting to Know Me. Guys, I am so sad. I think this is the final Getting to Know Me. Oh my god, we are finishing the questions today, guys. It is so sad. This is the last one. If I find something else I could do for Getting to Know Me, I will definitely do it so I can keep the series going. But for now, this is where it's going to end. But believe me, guys, I am going to be doing my research to see if I can find any other website I can do this on. So we're going to start with 747. Have you ever flown first class? No. How many languages do you speak? I speak one fluently, which is English. I am trying to learn Spanish again, as you guys know. What are better, violins or pianos? Um, I played violin for a year and I really liked it, but I'm really trying to teach myself piano. I'd say I like both. What's the fastest you've ever driven as a driver or passenger? Um, I think one of my exes went over 100 once. What compulsions do you have? Um, I pick my nails a lot. Um, I pick my lips. I'm a picker. I like I like to pick. What makes you angry? What doesn't make me angry? If you could see any band, which would you like to see? Well, obviously Fall Out Boy, but I've already seen them. But if I had to pick one band, it would probably be Queen or the Beatles, if they were still performing. Who would you say are more attractive, English or Europeans? Um, I think it depends. Um, I've seen a lot of English people who are very attractive. I've seen a lot of like Irish people who are pretty attractive. I think it just depends on the person. What would you say is your favorite album of all time? That would be Fall Out Boy's Mania album. Do you dislike hairy people? No. Are you much of an adventurer? Kinda. Do you like your own name? I tend to go by my nicknames preferably. Would you ever sign a prenuptial agreement? Truth be told, I actually don't know what that is, so I can't say yes or no. How long has your longest ever phone call been? I think over two hours. Have you ever stolen anything? No. Could you ever have an affair with a married person? No. Could you ever spil split up a couple for one reason or another? Honestly, if it was for benefiting one of the people in the relationship, then yes. What is your family Christmas is like? On the 24th, we celebrate with my dad's side, and then on the 25th, we celebrate with my mom's side. Do you prefer sporty or academic members of the opposite sex? I like academic people. How much would it cost to buy your love? You can't buy my love. What was your last favorite teacher at school and why? That would be my psychology teacher because she was so lively and just all over the place. She had the energy of like a teenager. If you met a genie who offered you three wishes, what would you wish for? More wishes does not count. I'd wish for financial stability for my family. I'd wish for my college degree in liter in the um, literary arts. And then I'd wish for a... Um, writing job for Disney. What's your current mobile phone model and do you like it? I have an iPhone 11 and I like it. Have you already thought about your baby's names? Yes. Um, so my first girl is going to be Elizabeth Irene. My second is, my, my boy is going to be Matthew James. If I have a second girl, it's going to be Briar Rose. If I have a second boy, it's going to be Jack Cameron. If I have a third girl, it's going to be um, Jade Ripley Sindel. And if I have a third boy, it's going to be um, Josh Dillon. Have you ever been fishing? Yes. Have you ever had your national flag painted on your face? I think once. Do you have any strange body things? Like anything attached to me? Not really. What was the last social faux pas you made? I have no clue. <laughs> what makes you nostalgic? Going back to my childhood and pretty much watching or doing things that made me happy as a kid. What's the scariest thing you've ever done? Conquer my fear on Guardians of the Galaxy. What fairy tale character would you most associate with? Um, probably. Huh, that's a good question. I've never really thought about it. I mean, I, I gravitate a lot towards Aurora just because of, I feel like lately I've been pulled away from 
my parents and it's nothing against them it's just how I am personally and not only that but you know I feel like no matter how hard I try it no one like people that I have pushed away in my life seem to always come back and bite me in the ass and I hate hiding truthfully I want to put myself out there and do more and be more but I feel like things are just holding me back but I did get my prints in the end so I'm happy about that and I feel like eventually I will get my happy ending you know what I mean I know it's gonna happen plus I love sleeping how much do you tend to swear in public (laughs) what are your strengths I am a very I am smart um I like helping people um I do try to uh, be a good person for others and help those who need my help, but sometimes it's just a little challenging. What are your weaknesses? Short fuse. Uh, Short temper. I'm an angry person. What brand are your trainers? I'm assuming they mean my underwear, and I mostly have Victoria's Secrets underwear. If you ruled your own country, who would you get to write your national anthem? Danny Elfman. Who is the most intelligent person you know? Either my father or my grandparents. What is the craziest thing you've ever done for someone? That's rated R. <laughs> How did you get your name? My f- real first name came from my one of my aunt's middle names, and then my middle name is a shared name between both families. And then my last name is just my family's last name. What's the best piece of advice anyone's in a, anyone has ever given you? It was definitely that um, Chatting Skeletons episode about the five senses, how to relax yourself. If you had to describe yourself as a flavor, what would it be? Spicy. If you had to describe yourself as a car, what would it be? Probably a Mustang. If you had to describe yourself as an animal, what would it be? A lion. Do you think laughing at someone else's misfortune is wrong? Yes. If a loved one was to serenade you, what song would you most like them to sing? I do, I have hubby do this all the time. I have this, I have him play the acoustic version of On Melancholy Hill by the Gorillas and it sounds beautiful. Would you ever let your parents pick out a partner for you? No. Have you ever tried spam? No. And guys, that is it for the Getting to Know Me series. Thank you guys so much for being on this journey with me, and I hope you did get to know a lot about me. If you have, if you'd like to answer any of these questions for yourself, please put them in the comment section down below. I would love to get to know my subscribers just as you guys got to know me. So thank you all so much for watching this series. I will try my best to find something else to do for this series so that way it can continue on. Bye little skeletons. Stay safe. I love you guys.